my name is Aram Kim. I'm an author, illustrator of this new book called No Kimchi for Me. Does anyone know where South Korea is? No? That's where I came from. And I wanted to show you where South Korea is. That's why there is this like big inflatable globe. We are here, right, in United States. Right now, especially here in New York, so we are all here. So we are gonna go to the west. So we pass the Midwest, we pass the West Coast, and we keep going past the Pacific Ocean, right? So keep coming, like cross the big ocean, and then we meet Japan here. And then here is South Korea. Yeah, so it is far, far away. In South Korea, kimchi is a very popular food that people eat it almost every day. But kimchi is kind of spicy. If you open the book, on the front end paper, all these vegetables you make kimchi with. And kimchi we are going to talk about today is made with napa cabbage. Did you, have you seen this in supermarket? These big cabbages, yeah? And this is how it looks when you cut it in half. And guess what? We are using a lot of red chili peppers and garlic too. It is spicy. And if you are not used to it, it might be stinky too. <laughs> But kimchi is very popular in Korea. But even though it is popular because it's spicy, little children don't really like it. But if you can eat kimchi, you can say, well, I eat kimchi. I'm a big girl. I'm a big boy. And we all want to be a big girl and big boy, right? Yeah. So that's where this story started. So let's see what happens in the book. So, it is a rainy day, like today. What can you do on a rainy day? You cannot play outside, you cannot ride the swing. So Yumi is upstairs, inside, feeling bored. And here, Grandma is cooking something. Yumi has two big brothers. Yoon is working on math problems. Jun is writing an essay. And Yumi was trying to have some fun, drawing pictures, jumping rope, playing with dolls. And then grandma calls. It's time for lunch. This is how most of Korean lunch tables or dinner tables look like. You have your own bowl of rice, bowl of soup, and then you have some food in the middle to share with everyone. So, Yumi loves grandma's dried seaweed, tiny anchovies, soft egg omelets, even her seasoned bean sprouts. But Yumi does not like stinky, spicy kimchi. <laughs> you can't eat it because you are a baby, says Jun. Only big kids eat kimchi, says Yun. I will show them. So Yumi is trying to eat kimchi, she is trying to prove. Oh no! Do you see her face is turning red because it's so spicy? <laughs> Yuck! Baby, baby! The brother's tease. See Yumi is drinking some water. After lunch, Jun and Yoon don't let Yumi play. This game is not for babies. No fair, says Yumi. 
And here our brother is having all this fun. They are playing video games, they are making a model ship, but they are not letting Yumi play with them, saying, not for babies. I'm not a baby, says Yumi. And I can prove it. How do you think Yumi is going to prove? <laughs> Yumi marches to the refrigerator, opens the door, and faces a big jar of kimchi. Uh-oh. Yumi has an idea. So she's bringing the kimchi jar somewhere. First, she tries to hide some kimchi on a chocolate chip cookie. That doesn't work. <laughs> then, she tries to hide some on a slice of pizza. That doesn't work either. Ice cream doesn't work either. Ah, I hate kimchi! Grandma has a plan. They chop, so grandma's chopping kimchi. Pour, grandma and Yumi are pouring water and flour. Break, grandma's breaking an egg into the mix. Add, Grandma is adding chopped kimchi into the mix. Stir, so Yumi is stirring everything together. And cook. Scissor, 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 scissor. What do you think they are making? Yoon smells something delicious. What's that? Asks Yoon. June smells it too. What's that? Asks June. It's a kimchi pancake for our big girl, Grandma says. Do you see how big this kimchi pancake is so that everyone can share? So Grandma and Yoon are using chopsticks and June and Yumi are using forks. So you can use whatever you want and you share this big kimchi pancake together. Yumi puts the fork to her mouth. I can do this, says Yumi. Still spicy, she says. Gurp. Gurp, she's drinking some water or milk, but yummy. So now everyone is eating kimchi pancake together, all happy, and see what's happening outside of the window. The rain is letting up. <laughs> So after they finish all the kimchi pancakes together, Yumi and the brothers, they all went outside and played together. So that is a happy ending. But it's not an ending for us yet. If you have a grown-up who wants to cook with you, then there is a recipe in the back of the paper of kimchi pancake you can try together and see if it's really spicy but yummy. And at the very end, you see all these different kinds of kimchi here. And this kimchi is what we talked about today. It's called the pechu kimchi. It's very spicy but very yummy. My favorite though is this one called the kakdugi. It's made of radish. So it's very crunchy, very delicious. But if you don't feel like spicy, like tongchimi and pekkinchi, they are not spicy, they are very yummy, 
or you can even make cucumber kimchi called oisobagi. But all these kimchis are delicious and I hope you get to try sometime. Thank you. Thank you.